Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the Kansas Speedway for the Kansas 80. This is going to be race number 24 in the More Freedom Series Season 4, and the points race is heating up. So let's go through your top 10 in points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Fifth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Sixth will be the 25 of JTM. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 10 of Scooter. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. Team standings look like this. Douche Motorsports now leads the way over second place NBR. Third is going to be Aces to Zed Motorsports. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge Chevy Toyota and Ford. So that's a look at all things points here as we go into race number 24 of the More Freedom Series Season 4 here at Kansas. They are getting these cars dialed in, as always, so I think it's about time. So let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the 329 of Pekka Vaduber, and on his outside, the 11 of TC Roberts. Starting third will be the 999 of Deviant, and on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting fifth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones, and on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting seventh will be the 96 of Nico. And on his outside, the 20 of Adam B5000. Starting ninth will be the 72 of Duchess. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 300 of Resemble. So we got a Douche Motorsports car in that 329 of Heck of a Duber starting on the pole here today. Uh, again, they are in a hot battle with MBR for the team championship this year as they are currently 29 points ahead of MBR after that win by the eight of Moon Bunny last week. Duber's got some help in the top 10 starting with her his teammate, the 72 of Duchess, but MBR's got the 25, the 96, and the 49 to try to get themselves a win or back into the top spot in the points as we see that beautiful Orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car duck off. Here comes Duber down to take the green flag. It is out and we are underway. Duber out to lead already over the 999 of Deviant as we see him head towards the backstretch. And we're going to see what Deviant has here as we see the 11 of TC Roberts high side right now as it's three wide behind them between the 33 of Harvey Jones and 96 of Nico and that 49 of Jetman. So JTM you see is sandwiched in the middle there between the 799 and the 72 as your leader on lap number one is going to be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. As Duber leads the way here, he has been winless this season after almost winning the points championship last year, but he's got two, count them, two Toyotas lined up behind him in the 999 of Deviant and the 11 of TC Roberts. So again, storybook season currently for the 999 of Deviant. And I want to say, you know, after missing four races, that's like four, five, six hundred points. So he's doing pretty good. He could be easily top 10 if it wasn't for that. As we see the 11 of TC Roberts ducking down to his inside. He's got a good run on the outside, stays up high. TC down to the bottom. Here comes the 96 of Nico behind him as Duber still leads away. So Nico looking to try to take away the third position from the 999 here in just a moment as he's got a great run. He's going to get that draft by the 11 of TC Roberts. He's down to the inside of the 999 right now. Here comes the 33 of Harvey Jones down to the inside. So losing that second position to the 11, then Deviant's going to fall back several spots here as he's going to get some draft help by the 72 of Duchess. But... The 33 of Harvey Jones right to the back bumper of the 96 of Nico, who now takes over the third position. And here comes into the frame uh, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Having, having started 13th on the day, KFB 
now up to the seventh position as we watch Duchess down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones as the 11 of T.C. Roberts running down your leader. So Duber now with less than a car length, actually about a car length maybe, no, about a car length now, separating the 11 of T.C. Roberts in the 329 of heck of a Duber. As we have about 48 laps to go as we got a caution on the track, folks. Caution is out. Caution on the track as they're going to catch up to that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. Duber's going to lead us around here. So caution on the track. Not sure what's happened so far. Uh, looks like it might have involved multiple drivers. Not sure. We're going to find out in just a moment after these pit stops. I assume we're going to have pretty much the entirety of the field come in as highlighting the KFB. Currently the fastest lap led or the fastest lap is by him at 177.573 miles per hour as Duber leads us down to the pits here. So we're going to see what Douche Motorsports can do here on the first pit stop of the day for the 329 of Heck of a Duber. That Mountain Dew Baja Blast Heinz ketchup Taco Bell car. Not the ketchup taco car after a few races into the season switched it up to uh, Baja Blast as their primary sponsor. So right side tires going on. The 329. Looks like it might be just a two tire stop. He is down, fuel going in, he's away. He's gonna be the first one out. Looks like Nico's gonna be a big loser there on pit road, but the 329 of Heck of a Duber is your first one off. So let's jump up to see what is brought out that caution flag well this caution is going to be brought out between by contact between the 49 of Jetman and the 8 of Moon Bunny Jetman looks like he gets a good run here on the 25 of JTM he's going to cut it low right into the right front of that 8 of Moon Bunny so let's see this happen you see he goes around let's get another look at that so we can see that Jetman's already going around here. Let's see what happens here. So Super Snake into him, Super Snake into him, multiple people in the back. You can see multiple MBR cars involved here. Well, those out as a result of that caution are gonna be the 88 of NM, the 29 of Wishbone Attack, the 34 of Super Snake, and the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. So all those drivers out of this race. Looks like the 51 of AJM is currently a lap down. Let's check in on his car. Yeah, he's got definitely got some hood damage and the damage on that 49 of Jetman as well. Lights are out on the beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. Let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Second's going to be the 11 of TC Roberts. Third will be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Fifth will be the 96 of Nico. Sixth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Running at your top 10 will be the 72 of Duchess. So two by two, they're going to lead us back to the green flag. Duber going to be down to the inside again with TC on the outside. Kind of like the start of the race. As we bring them down, see if TC can get a jump here. Green flag is out. We're back underway. TC is going to get a little bit of a jump. Over that 329 of heck of a Duber hitting it down into turn one. Top side for that 11 of TC Roberts. He's going to take over the top position. From the 329 of Heck of a Duber as the 999 of Deviant right there to the back bumper of the 329. As we see the 96 down to the inside of several drivers here. Looks like he might be losing some, some, losing some positions. He might have a slow car here, folks, as the 96 is off the pace just a hair right here. As we see the 203 of Signs around him as well as the three of Geek Girl Games down to the inside. As we see the 999 of Deviant trying to get down to the inside of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. 
So MBR, a huge, just bad break for them today. Two of their, actually four of their drivers at the back of the pack with only two currently residing in the top 10 now. As we watch this battle for the second position between Heck of a Duber and Deviant. Deviant was looking to make a move off of turn four. Doesn't do it. He is going to ride right there behind the 329. Down into turn three and four they go. Your leader is still the 11 of TC Roberts. As again, KFB still with that fastest lap. We're going to see if anybody can match it as we see KFB now down to the inside of the 999 of Deviant. So KFB, after his first win of his career, has been looking pretty stout over the last couple races, currently up to 13th in the points. As he makes his way around the 999 of Deviant, let's see if that 203 of signs might follow right along with him. That's going to allow Duber to try to make a run to the back bumper of the 11 of TC Roberts. As we got plenty of action and pit stops to go uh, with 41 laps remaining here at Kansas. So now into the third position is the 71 of Kung Fu Beer as Deviant starts falling back as it signs is around him. And here comes G3 and the 95 of Zed Brunna. G3 not able to make that pass. She's going to slide back a little bit there. She's going to, Deviant's going to keep his spot as the Pink Panther slots in behind her between himself and the 13 of King of the Aces as Coda almost with the battle between himself and the 33 of Harvey Jones. So look at this. The triple seven of Seabass works himself up into the 10th position. Seabass, Seabass, after starting 24th, now up to 10th here on the track. Dropping back through this field as we see those MBR cars just sliding back as uh, the 25 and the 96 now have fallen all the way back to the 19th position right there in front of your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, who is getting passed right now by his teammate the 666 of Pistol Pete, and a third place in points, the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. So Winkle, only 22 points behind Mudbone right now, needs to get up here and get those positions away from him. So we'll keep dropping back through this field. We see AJM back here just having to cruise along as he's probably gonna go a lap down pretty soon. He's actually already a lap down with damage to the front end of his car. As we see the battle here for the second position between the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, who's down to the inside of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So KFB getting down to the inside of second place of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Here comes Duber's teammate, the 203 of Signs. We're going to see if Signs, he's going to fall back a little bit here. Doesn't get a great run off of turn four. As Deviant jumps down to the inside. So Signs and Duber may lose a couple positions here to. The 999, the 95, possibly the three. As Signs makes it three wide with the 203, with the Deviant and the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So three wide right there. Duber thinks gets the he just was like, hey, I'm getting out of the getting out of the gas here. He's gonna fall back a bunch as Deviant takes over that position. Here comes the Pink Panther, the 95 is Zed Brunna down to the inside of that 999 as well as the 33 of Harvey's, Harvey Jones and the 777 of Seabass. As we see the battle for the lead heating up between the 71 of Kung Fu Beer and the 11 of TC Roberts. TC who runs fifth in points, uh, about 140 behind. The double zero of Mudbone, he's, gonna, he's about to lose that position now to the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. So KFB for Kager Racing, the car owner, putting the hammer down and making it look easy as he gets around the 11 of TC Roberts. So I don't know if T TC's tires are just going away this early or if he just let him around. As KFB now put in several car lengths between himself and that 11 of TC Roberts. 
So KFB takes over the lead here at the Kansas 80 with 34 laps to go. Now into the third position is the 33 of Harvey Jones followed closely behind by the triple seven of Seabass. So again, Seabass starting 24th on the day and worked himself up to now the fourth position. So a gain of 20 positions for that triple seven of Seabass as the 95 is Ed Brunner and the 13 of King of the Aces working here together. Well, they're not quite working together there for Aces to Zed Motorsports. You got your team owners right here, the, the 13 and the 95. As we watch second place in points, the 20 of Adam B5000, who is only seven points behind Mudbone right now for the series lead as Mudbone currently runs 23rd. If it's going to end right now, you're going to see that 20 of Adam B5000 take over the points lead as the other Kager Racing vehicle, the 40 of Veteran Chaos and that Jack Daniels Army Ford has now worked himself into the ninth position. So Vet, who has come from 26th all the way up to ninth for Kager Racing. So KFB and Kager Racing have must have some great Great pit stops going on here today as both drivers into the solidly into the top 10 as we watch the 33 of Harvey Jones work down to the inside of the 11 of TC Roberts. Followed right behind him is going to be the triple seven of Seabass. And it looks like the 95 of Zed Brunna may take advantage of this two wide racing between the triple seven and the 11 to try to make it down to the inside of his teammate there. So the Pink Panther is going to get a run off of turn four. He's going to drop down to the inside of the 11 to TC Roberts. TC is going to give him a little bit of room, not that much, as they head down into turn one. As we see the 33 of Harvey Jones absolutely puts the hammer down. He's up to the back bumper of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. So late going in the run here for the 33 of Harvey Jones. I don't know if he saved his tires. He may have saved his tires. He's now working down on the inside of your leader, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, KFB. Definitely gonna lose that position to Harvey here as it looks like the triple seven to Seabass. He's gonna work down to the inside right now as KFB gets a run off of turn two. So KFB with a good run off of turn two. We're gonna see if Seabass not close enough to stick it down to the inside right there. But Seabass is now gonna try to work to the back bumper of that 71 as we see several car lengths now between the 33 of Harvey Jones and the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Down the back stretch, your leader is the 33 of Harvey Jones as KFB now has to fight for the second position with the triple seven of Seabass. Down to the stripe, leader still that 33 of Harvey Jones. We stay the same as we work here on lap number 29. Jump back through this field as we see three Douche Motorsports drivers right here in the top 10, actually, yeah, into the top 10, the 203, the 72, and the 211, as we see the 51 of AJM coming out of the pits. He's gonna jump up in front of, oh, we see lots of pit stops happening here. We're gonna see the 72 of Duchess stay out. Triple seven stays out. We got multiple drivers into the pits, so. The triple seven of Seabass takes over the lead here from the 33 of Harvey Jones. With 25 laps to go here at Kansas, this might be the last stop of the day for all these drivers. We're gonna see what happens as it sounds like Seabass is off the gas and he is coming into the pits. We're gonna see if Duchess follows suit or if she stays out for a lap here. Nope, Duchess is coming in, your final drivers to pit here at Kansas, going to be the triple seven of Seabass and that 72 of Duchess. 
So Seabass into his pits. Right side tires going on. That Twix Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing. Looks like it's going to be a four tire stop here today for Seabass as Amish Buggy, that Amish Buggy Racing crew goes to work here. By the nature of it, Duchess is going to take over the lead just there. So she's going to get those all important five bonus points as Seabass works out of the pits. And it looks like your leader is going to be the 33 of Harvey Jones, most likely, as it looks like the 96 of Nico has fallen all the way back here as the 95 of Zed Brunna down on the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. This might be a battle for the lead right here as the 95. The Pink Panther has worked himself up to possibly the lead here at Kansas. So not sure what happened to the 96 of Nico. We saw him after that pit stop just, uh, it looks like they may have just had a terrible set of tires. He's fallen all the way back to the 28th position. The last car on the lead lap as the 95 of Zed Brunna takes over the lead here at Kansas. Let's go through your current top 10. Again, your leader, the 95 of Zed Brunna. Second's gonna be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Third will be the triple seven of Seabass. Fourth will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fifth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Eighth will be the 211 of Hogs. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 329 of Heck of a Duper. So JTM's pit crew there for NBR able to bring himself back bring him back into the top 10 as he runs ninth here on the track so i'm i'm guessing i'm guessing that's the last pit stop for all these drivers here today we're going to see if jtm is able to catch up to and pass that 211 of hogs as that will be all important in those team standings as again douche motorsports leads the way We'll jump back up to the front of this field as we see the 71 of Kung Fu Beer working around the inside of that 40 of Veteran Chaos. Falling behind him is going to be the 211 of Hogs as they're working around up here around that 51 of AJM. We're going to see if that AJM is staying high for him here. So AJM give him plenty of room to the leaders as he stays high on the track. As we watch the 33 of Harvey Jones now takes the lead back over from the 95 of Zed Brunna as the triple seven of Seabass now to the back bumper of the 95. So Zed gives up the lead here on lap number 34 to the 33 of Harvey Jones. Looks like he's about to lose second place to that triple seven of Seabass. Seabass down to the inside here in the turn three. Great draft by that triple seven of Seabass as he works down to the inside of the 95 of Zed Brunna here for second position. Again, your leader on the track is at 33 of Harvey Jones for RP Racing in the Reynolds Wrap Alienware Dodge. So Seabass is working on a, trying to work on a good finish. He's already won one race here this season. He's trying to work on a win number two, get himself out, get himself out of the basement of the points, is what he's wanting to do here today. As he currently runs in the 32nd position, talking to that triple seven of Seabass over the over the weekend, and you know, get that little bit of interview in there. Not sure what's been going on with his car. He's been just bad luck and uh i you know i was like hey maybe you know i might think about a change in number <laughs> maybe that's a problem <laughs> but he is right there to the back bumper of that 33 of harvey jones here as we work onto the front stretch so seabass is now caught up to your leader the 33 of harvey jones as they work into one and two We'll see how long Harvey can hold off a of Seabass, and then we're going to see if the 95 of Zed Brunna can take advantage of this battle for the lead, as I think it's going to be a battle here into turn three. 
Not quite yet. So Seabass hanging back a little bit here. As we work lap number 38, now we get him down to the inside. So Seabass biding his time here as we have lots of laps to go. 16, as a matter of fact, as he's down to the inside for a battle for the lead here between the 777 and Seabass. Not much of a battle as Seabass had that great run into three and one and two as they head down the back stretch. Zed was hoping, hoping to make a run to the inside of that 33 of Harvey Jones. He's not going to be able to do it. So Seabass to the top spot. Harvey second, Zed third, and KFB running fourth. Rounding out your top five is the 211 of Hogs. We're going to check back through this field. See what's happening back here. As we've got a little bit of the action back here between the nine, the triple six and the 300. So the 666 of Pistol Pete currently residing in the 16th position. So good run here today for this triple six. Again, as Pistol Pete, rookie hero on the season, currently resides 33rd in points. Looking for a good finish here today as last week's winner, the eight of Moon Bunny, currently runs it in the 14th position. You see your pole sitter, the 329 of Heck of a Duber has fallen back here as of late, working around that 10 of Scooter. So Duber now into the 20th position. So he lost all those spots, getting caught up on the outside a little bit ago and has worked himself back into 20th. As we'll check in on your your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone, who currently runs 23rd on the track. So Mudbone um, in in danger right now of losing the lead, the points lead to the 20 of Adam B5000. As we see the 96 of Nico, who has now worked himself back into the 25th position. So Jetman still continues to circle. He's still in the lead lap here. He's about to go back to the 28th position, I think. So Seabass, who is currently leading right now with about 12 laps to go. As we see the 95 of Zed Brenna trying to work on the 33 of Harvey Jones here. So I think all three of these drivers has already won this season. Actually, the top four, I think they all have a win. I'm, I'm fairly certain that Harvey has. And so all these, wow, Zed swings that car hard left, trying to work underneath that 33 of Harvey Jones. They are uh, so very close off of turn two. A great run down the back stretch for the 95 of Zed Brunner. We're going to see if he can stay. No, he's not able to get down to the inside of that 33 of Harvey Jones. So I thought Zed was going to be able to get down to the inside of the 33, but Harvey had that great run to the outside wall off of turn two, able to keep that position as a Seabass still working the lead here with nine laps to go. Now Zed, who is right to the back bumper, of the 33 of Harvey Jones down the back stretch. I think he's going to get him here in the three and four. Harvey gives up a little bit of room to the top of the track. Giving Zed enough room here as they work off a of turn four. Battle for the second position, and it looks like that 95, the Pink Panther, Zed Brunna, going to take that spot, but maybe... Uh, we're watching this battle now for the third position between the 71 of Kung Fu Beer and that 33 of Harvey Jones. I thought KFB was going to try to work down to the inside of the 33, but he's not, hasn't quite done it yet. As to, to note that the 211 of Hogs is now taken over the fastest lap on the day at 177.842 miles per hour. So with eight laps to go here at Kansas, it's going to be a close one, I think, at the end. If the, the 95 can get that car hooked up, I, he might be able to catch up to this 777 of Seabass. Seabass currently leads by about one second over the 95 of Zed Brunna, but Zed may have saved his tires, and uh, Seabass may have used them all up. We're going to find out. I mean, 
we're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going to the end of this race. As we watch, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer is able to work around that 33 of Harvey Jones. Jump back here through this field. As we see the 25 of JTM caught up to the back bumper, that 20 of Adam B5000. So JTM now into the eighth position. Looks like he's able to get around the 11 of TC Roberts on that last lap, as well as it looks like the three of Geek Girl Games able to get around him. As we see possibly pit stops happening. Pit stops happening with six laps to go. We're gonna catch up to this 777 of Seabass. So with six laps to go, folks, we are seeing pit stops on the track. We're gonna follow your leader, the 777 of Seabass around this, around this speedway as he is staying out for another lap, folks. The 95 is staying out, the 71 is staying out. So with about five laps to go, we see seeing pit stops here at the Kansas 80. So I knew it was gonna be close at the end of this race and we're gonna see if Seabass has what it takes to get to the end or if he's gonna need a splash and go here. Can't tell, like I feel like he's off the gas. He is off the gas, so Seabass coming in for that splash and go. We're going to see if anybody stays out. We see the 72 of Duchess is staying out. We're going to see if she's able to make it to the end with four laps to go. So Seabass is in. Fuel going into that triple seven. They're going right side tires, so I'm not sure if everybody else went tires. So Seabass, right side tires going on. He's down and away. No restrictions on who was in front of him. We see KFB pulling out of the pits. We see Deviant in, right side tires for that 999 of Deviant. So Seabass fires that car up. He gets the hammer down here. With three laps to go, your leader on the track is currently the 72 of Duchess. So I'm gonna to try to catch up to her if we can. She's into the pits. So I think that's a fuel only stop for the 72 of Duchess with two laps to go. We're gonna see if that pays off for her. No, that's not. It was a good strategy by the 72. Looks like the triple seven of Seabass may be taking back over the lead here. So Duchess with a fantastic strategy and she was trying her best to put that car into the winner's circle, but we're gonna see if it's gonna be the triple seven of Seabass. So we got two laps to go. And I believe once timing and scoring and everything updates, we're gonna see Seabass come out with the lead and that is the case, so. White flag lap coming up here for your leader, the triple seven of Seabass, the 95 of Zed Brunner in second, the 211 of the Hogs in third, fourth will be the 71, and fifth will be the 33. So coming down to take the white flag here today at Kansas, the triple seven of Seabass. So starting in the 24th position here today, your leader, the triple seven of Seabass, couple more turns to go. He heads out to the back stretch. Zed's about a seven, about one second behind him as he heads down into three and four. So unless he runs into issues with the 51 of AJM, which I don't think he's gonna do, he's coming off a of turn four, coming down to take the checkered flag here today at Kansas, the triple seven of Seabass. So Seabass is gonna win his second race of the season here today. And, you know, fingers crossed for him. That was a fantastic race by him. And I think, you know, after what he's just gone through this season and been able to put together this race here today, it's got to feel good. But let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 777 of Seabass. Second's going to be the 95 of Zed Brunner. Third will be the 211 of Hogs. Fourth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. 
Fifth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the, the 25 of JTM. Eighth will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Ninth will be the 72 of Duchess. And rounding out your top 10 will be the three of Geek Girl Games. As a note, your points leader, the double zero Mudbone, is going to finish 25th, 24th here today. Wow, fantastic race by that triple seven of Seabass. But next week, we go to the high speed Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Atlanta 75. So that should be an awesome race next week at Atlanta. Let's go through your current points as I think that 20 of Adam B5000 is going to take over the points lead from the double zero of Mudbone. And we might see the 95, the 211, or the 11 and the 25 move up as well. So you're seeing those points here on the screen. Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings as it looks like, I would guess, the Douche Motorsports extends their lead in the point, the team standings. So that's going to do it today here from Kansas for this Kansas 80. Again, congratulations to your winner. A very, very, very much needed race win by this Amish buggy racing crew, the triple seven of Seabass. Uh, he, again, he's just had a rough go this season and last season. Uh, definitely a confidence booster to go into these last 12 races here in the More Freedom Series Season 4. So congratulations today to the Triple Seven of Seabass. And until next week at Atlanta, take care.